Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where you look at a cool PowerShell module every Monday. This Monday, I'm looking at the Unix Completers module. The Unix Completers module is a module by the Microsoft PowerShell team to allow for parameter completers for native commands on Linux and Mac OS X. So uh, what you can actually do is uh, use the built-in command completers that they have for things like grep ls on apt, and or you can extend it to use your own completers if you uh, implement a particular interface um, inside this particular module. So there are some options that you can set. Um, first of all, you can set uh, things like the shell that you want to use. So for example, bash or z shell. Um, and you can also set up uh, the ps read line key handler for the tab um, key and then uh, invoke the menu complete function of ps read line. So I'm going to actually uh, show you how to do that uh, in PowerShell here. So I'm running um, Linux Ubuntu 18.04 in um, the Windows subsystem for Linux uh, version 2 on my Windows machine here. Um, and for example, if I just write ps version table, you'll see that uh, uh, there is the information about the Linux version that I'm running. Um, so what I am going to do is set up the uh, PS readline key handler. So I already actually have this module imported. So I've installed the Unix completers module. So now I have those commands uh, accessible. And if I call set PS readline key handler and then set the key, to, uh, the tab key to the function menu complete, I'll start getting menu complete options um, when I hit tab. So now if I do Linux commands like ls and then I do a hyphen and hit tab, you're going to see that it's going to uh, start to present me with some options for um, this particular command. And because I enabled that ps read line menu um, selector, that's why I have this kind of uh, menu available. And then if I just hit enter, it's going to actually select that command for me or that parameter for me. So there are a bunch of built-in commands. Another command, for example, is grep. If I hit um, tab on that hyphen there, you're going to see a bunch of the actual grep options that I can specify um, and hit enter there. Um, in addition to kind of the basic parameters, you can also specify parameters that are more dynamic. So example here would be apt, uh, if I could type install, and then if I start to type the name of a package that I want to install and hit um, tab, it's going to actually provide me with a bunch of different names of packages that I can actually install being, uh, via apt. Um, and finally, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the um, extensibility of this particular module. So all the commands can actually be extended using uh, this iUnix util completer interface. So you can actually define new completers by extending that particular interface. And you just need to extend these two methods. So there's the find completable commands method and then the complete commands method. So if we actually uh, jump over into the GitHub repo for that and look at that particular interface, you'll see that um, pretty much the find completable commands um, method will need to return the commands that this particular util can complete. And then we actually have this complete command um, method that you need to override where you get the name of the command, uh, the word to complete, the command AST, so you actually have some information about the current command that's typed in, and then where the cursor position is. So you can actually define your own command completers for Unix commands um, by implementing this interface. So in this video, we looked at the Microsoft te or PowerShell Teams Unix completers module and how to uh, complete existing Unix commands or extend the module itself to complete uh, commands of your choice. So uh, if you like videos like this, definitely subscribe to uh, my channel for more Module Mondays.